After 10 pretty long seasons, we have finally won the Champions League. And in this episode, we're going to have a quick look back at where it all began. And we've come a long way since our first game in the third tier of German football. And uh, we spent we spent one season there, we had a good time. And um, managed to gain promotion pretty much on the last game of the season. Even though EA decided that they wouldn't show us the trophy lift. Which was very frustrating, but anyway, we made it up into the second division. And after making some signings and losing our star right mid at the time, uh, we did our best in the league, and we did we did all right in the cup. Went on a run, beat some big opposition at the time. Before we finally made it into the big time, we made it into the Bundesliga, with our first game then eventually being against Stuttgart in the August of 2022 and after two tough years in the Bundesliga we had some good times and some bad times we finally made it into Europe and into the Europa League and in the same season we managed to win the German Cup for the first time out of the eventual three times we would go on to win that cup in this series and then in 2026 we finally get some more silverware in the form of the Europa League itself meaning that Champions League football will be coming around next season. And we faced big opponents in the Champions League. We faced a lot of heartbreak in the Champions League as well. And of course, eventually going out to United in the final. But that didn't stop us. We finally grabbed glory in both the league and the Champions League in our final season. The season which has, unfortunately ended Matt Wolf's stay with Victoria Cologne. Now that we've had a quick recap, just got a few awards I want to be giving out to the lads, so let's get into those. Right then, our first award for a bit of a laugh is in relation to the reason I signed some players, and uh, why I became pretty fond of some of the youth players we got. And uh, the award is for best hair. We've got some good candidates here, we've got um, Cobra Coin Dreddy, I signed early on, very high rated now. Tim Koenig, a youth player, uh, love a bit of the ponytail. Uh, Valentin Sadadka as well, nice throw, bit bigger than Coin Dreddy's, not bad. But look, realistically, we all know that the award itself has got to go to the man himself, Joshua Xerxes, for that huge afro he's got going on. Now, our next award is for our best OG player, so that means someone we didn't sign at, at all. This is a player who really plays for Victoria Cologne um, in real life, in the third division of the Bundesliga. We don't have any left except two, so I'm pretty sure you might know where these are going. But, we've got Tashi up front, who, as he got older, unfortunately stopped scoring as many goals, but luckily for us, our winner, the king of one and ones was able to keep keeping the goals out. And of course, it's the messy of keepers, as I named him early on. He was a great keeper and servant to the club, and deserved really to be winning this, this award, and to definitely be on the pitch for that Champions League win. Our third award then, is going to go to our most improved youth graduate. So someone we signed as a youth player, who was around 15 years old, and we promoted to the first team. And realistically, if you've been following this series at all, I'm sure you know who's winning this. But I would like to mention Koenig, he's had some big growth as well, we nearly lost him um, at, the last, at the end of the last season, managed to get him back and he's finishing with an overall of 91, it's really not half bad, but it's not quite as high as captain fantastic Daniele Bruno and finishes on a massive 96 overall and he's worth about 200 mil, he of course wins our most improved youth academy. Now next up, this one's going to be for the best signing we've made over the course of the 10 seasons. We've had a good few players, and um, many have done well. Erzy has played pretty much every game since I signed him. Uh, signed him at 79 overall, I think I remember. What is he at, 91 now? He could have done with scoring a few more goals, and that's probably the reason he hasn't won this one. Uh, we've also got Fabio, he only came in this season, but the man has a massive ego. Uh, straight into taunting the Cologne fans, it was unbelievable, and um, I loved it, and of course, because Ronaldo's regen, signing any regen is great, but pretty much this award goes to 
someone for their longevity, their consistent performances. It's got to go to Xerxes, isn't it? I know he's already won best hair, but he's winning this as well. He bangs in goals for fun, he gets assists as well. And his overall is a mad, mad 94 for someone who actually has been promoted to Bayern's main team recently. He's very deserving of this. Now, for an award we're all looking for, it's best goal. So for the best goal, I picked the best three that I thought on this first one is uh, Patrick Catrone against Bayern, against his former club. It's a lovely volley into the bottom corner. Uh, number two, we've got Cologne. Uh, Xerxes against our bitter rivals, our first derby, and our first proper finesse from outside the area. But realistically, our top goal could only ever be this one in the Europa League final when we were just being pegged back to 2-2 Daniele Bruno top bins no stopping it and that really wins our best goal before we move on to the final award of this this short pretty much short short video um, I just wanted to mention someone who we signed purely on the basis of the fact he scored a hat-trick against us and that is Connor Saxton in a pre-season game, we lost to Nims Olympic at the time when we shouldn't have 3-0 purely because he scored a hat-trick. So I scouted him, I looked him up, and he was only 71 rated at the time, but he was lightning fast, obviously scored the hat-trick, and became prolific for us, scoring left, right and centre all the time. Yeah, great growth up to 88 and 88 now, and really not bad, so I just wanted to give him um, valuable mention. Just. He was a great player for us and unfortunately couldn't give him his own award. But now, the last award for the whole series, all 21, 22 if you count this one, episodes, is our most valuable player and there's only one that could be getting this. And he was already won an award, our most improved youth academy. It's Daniele Bruno once again. From when we signed him in our youth academy, he was a 52 rated midfielder and I doubted whether or not he was going to be our future star but the man ended up scoring goals like Lampard lifting our biggest trophies the Champions League the league I think he lifted a Deutsche Pokal as well I'm not sure but there was no one else that I could give this award to not a chance it had to be him and he'll stay on this screen till the end of the outro and that concludes the whole series really lads and the awards um we had some great players we had some great fun I'll be back soon with another RTG um, if you follow my Twitter, and the link will now be down in the description, you'll know I've picked my team, but it'll be over on there, where I'll be releasing who that is in due course. Um, after this, I hope to be releasing Creator Community League content in the meantime before that next RTG, so keep an eye out for that if you're interested in Football Manager. And um, if you want to stick around for the next RTG and of course more Football Manager content, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.